Premier in Victoria just told us that kissing is illegal on New Year's Eve. And I cannot deal with the fact that our Premier is now cock blocking us or vagina blocking us because we're all bi. <laughs> Hey friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be a hot mess, but hey, so was 2020 and so is this tree that me and my housemates uh, attempted at putting up. It is currently like bent over, the star is not on, it's been held out by coasters, but it's very on brand for 2020. So um, grab yourself a coffee, a tea, a vodka, a wine, hey, you don't know what's in here. And um, let's have a chat. I wanna wrap um, all my favorite things of 2020. Uh, and then also on Instagram, on Sydney Vegan Guide, Melbourne Vegan Guide, and Renee Buckingham, I ask you guys, what's like one positive thing that came out of this shit show of a year? I think everyone's just to the stage where like, hurry up 2021, let's do this, like let's wrap this shit up. So I'm gonna wrap up my year and also then share with you guys what you uh, found something good that came out of lockdown. All right. No one's asked me this. It's like that, that classic thing. There's like a meme about it where it's like, no one, still no one, influences. Um, yeah, so my skincare routine is this, but actually I just like saw other people doing this and heard other people doing this. So I wanted to do it. Um, and I'd be interested to know your favorites of 2022. Firstly, I'm gonna have a sip of whatever's in here. Also, this shirt says shit show. That's what it means in Japanese. No, I'm kidding. All right, so here is my favorites of 2020. 20, a year we will never forget. Okay, my favorite podcast. Honestly, I had this moment yesterday of being like, what did I even do when podcasts went around? Like when I was cleaning my room, what did I do? When I was going for a walk, what did I do? My favorite podcast of 2020, I listened to Shameless so much. Um, I really do admire these two girls. They've done an incredible job at just spreading joy and um, love their in conversation episodes. I listened to it a lot throughout 2020. So I'm gonna go and give that one my favorite podcast of 2020. But one I recently discovered, which um, for any ladies out there, I think you will love. It's called Girls Gotta Eat. It's these two girls. One was an ex food blogger. Uh, they're based in New York and they're just like ruthless. Like I'm talking like they talk about like wet ass pussy and like getting your ass eaten, like crazy stuff. Love it. Um, and they've actually inspired me to want to be a bit more open. Two of my favorite podcasts, Girls Gotta Eat and Shameless. Take a sip. Okay, my favorite purchase of 2020. Oof. I don't know. Like I purchased a lot, but I don't quite remember. Can we come back to this one? Yeah. We Adjudicator said we can come back to this one. For a book of 2020, ha, ha, this is hilarious because I am terrible and I don't read. Like I had so much time in lockdown to read and I didn't read. Um, yeah, I don't th think I finished a single book. <sighs> don't judge me. Maybe a cookbook, I don't know. Deliciously Ella released a new cookbook. It's technically a book, right? So I'm gonna go and say, Deliciously Ella. Favorite TV series? Um, Everyone loved Normal People and just an unpopular opinion here, Normal People actually sucked in my opinion. I don't think their love was actually like genuine and if it was like, just be together. Like all my friends were like crying over it and so upset over it and I don't know whether I'm just like too ruthless, but I was just like, you guys suck at love. like. Be better, love each other more. <laughs> be honest, be open, communicate. You know, they didn't communicate. So it's definitely not normal people. Sorry, guys. It's like a doco series called I Love You Now Die. And it was like this real psycho. It's like based on a true story, actually. So a boyfriend and a girlfriend together. He kills himself, which is really sad. And um, she's pretty much like his murderer. It's kind of, yeah, you should watch it. I Love You Now Die. It's a two-part series. I found during lockdown, I just watched so many true crime docos because it made me feel like less fucked up about how my life was and better about the fact that like out there, there's some people doing crazy shit. So lockdown life ain't so bad. My favorite memory of 2020. Favorite memory. Oh, it had to be... Peak lockdown, which is before I lived in this house, it was like June. Me and my housemates turned our house into Nana's. Everyone lives in Melbourne and they know the club Yaya's. I am like number one fan. Can't wait for it to be open back up. We turned our house into Nana's and we had like a DJ night. Felt like we went to the club. My hangover felt like I went to the club. Uh, it was such a fun night and so memorable. And yeah, we just had so many fun moments in lockdown with the four of us in the house. We did lots of bike rides. So that's probably like my most memorable part of lockdown. My favorite food of 2020. Obviously, if I didn't say this, you guys would probably freak out, but falafel, like 
I think I fully fell in love with the falafel this year and shout out to Tahina Bar in Fitzroy because every single day during lockdown, probably for about four months straight, I used to call them and be like, hey, can I just get like four falafel? And by the end they were like, hey Renee, yep, like sauerkraut on the side, yep, cool, order's coming up. Favorite drink, I actually got this one because I had it near me. I discovered sour beers this year. Like, I don't know whether I was just like late to the game or they've become really trendy, but this Sunny Boy Sour is so good. It's 2.7 standard drinks in this. Um, and if you are ever in Newcastle, go to Hope Estate. Favorite movie would have to be Parasite. Again, with like the psychological, like thriller kind of thing. It was such a good film. I like was so stressed. Like I honestly struggled to sit still, uh, which is why we're only gonna do this for like 20 minutes. It's just like, yeah, it was mind fucking, which I love. I was like sweating in my chair, like watching it with my housemates, like, oh my gosh. And my favorite thing to come out of 2020, I'm gonna answer all the ones you guys submitted after this. There's so much. I honestly think it made me um, appreciate my own company so much more. I am such an extrovert. Well, I thought I was such an extrovert. And then being in lockdown um, obviously taught me that, hey, I actually like being at home and I like my own company. And like, hey, Renee, you're, like, you're not so bad. It was a really nice realization to have by the end of this crazy, crazy year. So I'm gonna say that, but also Fostering a sense of community, especially on Melbourne Vegan Guide, if you're watching, shout out to you guys, because yeah, there was such a sense of community here in Melbourne and I absolutely love how close um, everyone's become and how much people are helping each other out and how many uh, positive things have come out of that. And I can't wait to see all the content created as a result of this pandemic. I'm talking like art, music, movies, like the content will come and when it does, it'd be like, boom. All right, let's move on to all the things you guys said. If I learned one thing from lockdown or one positive thing to come out of 2020, um, my housemate came in first and said, I moved in with amazing housemates. Thank you. I assume she's talking about my cat, but I'll take it. 2020 gave me the confidence to quit an awful job and start following my dreams. I am so here for this. I love it. I think um, so many people struggle to find the guts to leave jobs or work that doesn't make them happy. So thank you 2020 for that. One said they managed to run 40 kilometers a week at the age of 40. Um, sorry, what? That is amazing. That is so good. I set myself a challenge to run 100 kilometers in August and that was hard. That was like over a month. So you are a hero. Someone said met a guy at a cafe after working from home all quarantine and we've been dating ever since and I wholeheartedly love this. I was so snoopy. I was like, oh, tell me more girl. Essentially what she said, is that she used to get free coffee when she was at work. So she never went to her local cafe, but because of lockdown, she did. She met the barista there and they've now been dating ever since. And for those of you that are in Sydney, he took her to Yellow on a first date. Like any guy that takes you to Yellow, which is like a real bougie uh, restaurant with a delicious vegan menu, like tick, tick girl, he is a keeper. Someone said I lost not one, but two jobs, but in saying that, it inspired me to go back to uni. And I got such good grades, I'm now accepted for an MBA. It sucks because at the time when you lose a job or something bad happens, you're like, there's no good in this, this is the worst day, but finally something good's come from it and I'm so happy for you. Got my license, which is great. Like, so happy you got your license, but like, if you're in Melbourne, you couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> but also they said, got a divorce after a bad marriage. I am so here for that. I think too many people stay in relationships that don't make them happy or no longer serve them. So good on you. I'm sure that was really, really tough. Someone else said I overcame pneumonia where I was on a ventilator and expected to die. Whoa, that is heavy and you are amazing. I can't even imagine having such a severe health issue um, during what already was a tough time. So, and live your best life. Someone says, took time for myself and now I feel nothing but love for myself. I think I touched on this before, like getting to know your own self and your own company. It's been such a um, transform transformative transformative year and I love that. I love it for you. Scored myself a dream job and moved my life to Sydney. Well, Sydney was a good place to be during lockdown uh, because yeah, you guys didn't have uh, the intense lockdown in Melbourne. I lived in Sydney for three years and I love it. So I feel like everything I say now is that I love this for you. I love it, babe, babe, I love it. But like, I actually do love these and I loved reading these, so thank you. Someone said, I survived lockdown and got engaged to my best friend so many lockdown loves i honestly think lockdown would have made or made made or broke 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 or made i don't know 
broke my relationships um, and I'm so so it made yours instead I was reminded of my value yes boom I think there's nothing more like collective than just like not being distracted or tempted by outside things and I love 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 you are amazing launch a new business it's a seltzer business they sent me some seltzers I don't even know how to say that word seltzer 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 we'll get there COVID and being pregnant at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. You had COVID and you're pregnant at the same time. Someone get this girl a medal. I am like so sorry you had to experience that. I feel like, you know, being pregnant is such a uh, beautiful thing and also something you want to celebrate. So I'm sorry that you had to endure a huge pandemic um, and then also getting the virus on top of that. But girl, your baby's going to come out so strong something they loved that came out of 2020 was following me and my vegan pages like this is i'm not gonna like give myself a wrap but thank you that's really nice glad i could uh bring you some joy i said i had more time to study and get good grades i remember being in uni and it was so hard because i was working so many jobs and i was so social that like i was just like please get degrees but i'm so glad you had the time to invest in your study yeah you're paying for it so <laughs> you might as well i taught myself to play guitar and started exercising again i'm so jealous that you taught yourself to play guitar because i have a guitar in my room gathering dust as we speak uh but also the exercise thing i honestly at the start of lockdown was like oh, i will never be able to exercise outside the gym and then i fully just like embraced it and did it and didn't hate it so someone said had a baby and went back to study like I think about having a baby and that stresses me out. Like I want to have kids, but like I'm scared of childbirth anyway. Uh, but having a baby during a pandemic where I'm sure like you couldn't have family in the room and support there that you needed, like that's amazing. It's going to be so uh, interesting that you can say to your baby, you were born during a global pandemic. I'm back to study. Super woman. Someone said, I finally quit smoking. Amazing. I actually hate smoking. I just could not date a smoker. So I'm really happy for you. And um, keep it up. Don't get back on them. I finally committed to being vegan. Best decision ever. Someone said, I went vegan and lost 14 kilos. I mean, that definitely did not happen to me when I went vegan. But I'm stoked for you. That's so good. Love that you're vegan. And also, um, if losing that weight has helped you in whatever way, Happy for you and managed to distance myself from friendships that no longer serve me. Can we talk about this one? Because I feel like this one resonates so much with all of us. I think it's been such a crucial time to realize who you value, what you value and where you spend your time. Like my time is important. No longer will I hang out with people that uh, waste my time or you know, didn't really make an effort during lockdown. So yeah, I and mean, I think we can all relate to that one. Got sober and I am so, so happy for you. People in my life struggle with addiction, so I know how important and hard this one is. Um, cheers, okay, now I will announce this is coffee. So cheers to that good bloody work. Was forced to no longer ignore the damage and destruction caused by an abusive partner. I'm sorry it took a pandemic for you to realize that. Please do not be with people that abuse you, whether it be physically, emotionally, manipulatively, whatever. Abuse is never, ever, ever okay. Um, and if you're in an unhealthy relationship, let this be a reminder that you too deserve better. And um, it shouldn't be, should never be like that. Got my highest uni marks ever. Congrats to you for doing uni during a lockdown. That would have been quite difficult or it could have been enjoyable for some of you that just like hated that face-to-face -face interaction and like trying to like not fall asleep in lectures because I remember those days all too well. I managed to quit my job of eight years and started a vegan business. Yes, nothing like a pandemic as an excuse to get out of a job. Like, sorry, just like the pandemic. Like, I don't know, just like, I don't know, like, I'm just gonna. But like, seriously, that's amazing. Let me know what your vegan business is because I know, I know a gal, I know a gal. Okay, this one finally went to therapy. It's something I've wanted to do for ages. I love it because I believe everyone should see a therapist. Seriously, it's like, Someone just sits there and listens to you for a whole hour. I did therapy all throughout lockdown and I will continue to do it for the rest of my bloody life. I'm such an advocate for people seeing psychologists. There's nothing wrong with it. It's normal, it's healthy, it's good, it's expensive, but it's worth every single cent. Can you tell that I'm like pro-therapy? I've got a puppy, game changer. Seriously, my fairy friend Binks, who's like right there, would not have done the pandemic without her. So thank you, Binksy, my number one gal. She's like, 
Train for a half marathon. Yes, I never would have done my running if it wasn't for the lockdown. So we love you lockdown. Not really, we love lockdown for this. Someone said, I realized I value work-life balance and work-life balance and now planning the business. I value this for you. I honestly was never available um, because I was so, so busy. And I think definitely lockdown made me reflect on that. And saying that now I'm like back into the, back into the rhythm of it all. Anyway, this isn't about me. Slow down and now I loathe going out. Oh, I feel like everyone can kind of relate to this. Like I can go out like four nights a week now, even that I'm like, oh, this is a bit much. Like I probably just rather be at home with my cat. Like. I know watching TV or with my housemates. Like, I remember the first time my housemates went out, I was like, where are you? When are you coming back? I was like a controlling girlfriend because I was like, I miss you. Also, you spend so much money when you go out all the time. But anyway, live it up. You do you, bit. Someone said, got back into piano. Love it. Got good at skipping, which I hated as a kid. I followed my passion and started a new business. Yes, you did. Can't wait to see all of the businesses that have come out of COVID. My friend started an incredible candle business and it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for COVID. So cheers, mate. Lockdown life in 2020 made me appreciate the simple things in life. I totally agree. Lockdown one, I was like, I just want to get back to the gym. By the end, I was like, I would just be happy to like hug one person or have one person over. It definitely made you appreciate these small things in life. Like literally like, oh wow, like this slice of sourdough is so bloody beautiful. It's like, I think it taught us all to be less greedy. I met my girlfriend and taught myself guitar because I finally had the time. Someone said, fell in love with my housemate and spent four months together. I love this. We love lockdown love. We love Lockdown love. I hope I get invited to all these lockdown love weddings. <laughs> Cope with routine changes and my autism slash OCD and I got engaged. Bought our first home. I enjoyed alone time in lockdown and worked on myself. Did I write this one? I don't know. No, I actually didn't write this one. I resonate and then it says I'm now feeling better in my body, which I love. Okay guys, that is a wrap for 2020 let's try again next year no honestly um despite it being such a shit year and a tough year for so many people um i don't want to take that away from you but i also am so grateful that you all shared your positive stories with me and now i can share them with you i hope 2021 is a lot better for you let's not like go into this being like this is my year let's just like keep it cool calm collected like chill and hope for a better year. Um, I cannot wait to travel. Um, I can't wait to see my family as well. Thanks for hanging in with me throughout lockdown. Um, I definitely lost the pot a little bit there on all my social media accounts, but I really appreciate all the engagement uh, throughout the year. And if you have anything you want to see in 2021, let me know. Otherwise, go and click the like button, the subscribe button, hang out with my channel, and um, I'll see you in the new year.